Welcome everybody to another edition of Pittsburgh Seal Wrestling Poison Seal here in DW9 as we're doing the TV tapings plus the next big event. So a quick little thing before we start, of course, is um, I'm not going to show it because it'll like, it like cross the streams. But of course, there's more um, we have after doing the feud of the year. We have the event of the year up um, for my WW 2006 series. So go ahead and take a look at that. But regardless, um, well, let's get going with the actual show here. So um, let's give the night off here. So let's, okay, so we're giving Alex Braun the night off because he is not working and I found somebody just as good as a free agent. And otherwise I'm just paying 500 bucks, dude, not much. So there we go. Um, is there anybody else who's actually making a decent amount of money who I'm not going to be using tonight? Uh, okay. Hmm. Here's the thing, when I signed some people, I totally for forgot about the whole like travel thing. And I'm just trying to think of people who we can like not use here. Um, and I guess like no, like nobody's that bad. I'm just looking for out, out of the country people, but I think like, yeah. Um, as a complete side note, I did let go of um, Samoa Machine for two reasons. A, he was very expensive and B, he's, a, he's um, in Japan. So I had to pay for a ticket to Japan every time. And I was no longer going to do that, but I think that's basically it. So there we go. So we are done. Uh, we are going to use the PSW Arena, of course. Oh no, no, we we can't fill that up. We heck can fill the Western Junior version. Yep, so that's three hundred people. We can use our Booker Team meeting. Okay, so we get one hundred forty-seven. Uh, let's see, we got a storyline idea and a storyline idea. Okay, so let's do a creative finish. Lenny Brown, create a finish. That's probably going to be saved for the future show. We can then do a storyline idea. Gamble storyline, okay. And then we can do an angle idea. Likely to succeed angle. Okay, great. Okay, great guys. Good job, good job. A locker room incidents. Okay, we got uh, Teddy Pal. Guys, can you stop fighting? Really? Stunt man? You're on the dice. You only have a draw because you have a team of attitude that's pretty over. But otherwise, I'd probably get rid of you. So stop being an asshole. Um, good job, Buck. Um, I guess don't piss off Ernest. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Dude. Corey, quit being a dick. Here's a fine. Again, here's a fine. Jesus Christ, guys. This is not Dave. Um, we are going to meddle, and we are going to meddle, let's see here, with Tennessee Williams. And... Here, Jackpot Jordan. Here, you guys can maybe get along a little better. All right, so let's get to our TV match, of course. Um, I think, yeah, if we go to our show history, of course, Hardcore Revolution ended with uh, Antonio Del Vecchio retaining the title over Pittsburgh Steel Wrestling you to keep the championship, but Logan Wolf Spain, after beating a little mini feud with Lech Lester, came back and speared the hell out of Vecchio and had you know, swimming defeat Lenny Brown, and then also defeat Tennis Williams, shockingly, because that was not my booking, I messed up. Um, Logan Wilson getting the win, Revel because defeating Cerebus, and then, then there was a post-match attack. And then we had the Devil May Care retain the tag titles, basically ending the feud with the, uh, Pin Enterprises. But Winchester is going to make win over Devil Dog. And Batches Brutes defeating Galino Chavez. It's really winning the, basically, old guy feud over Teddy Powell. And Richard Famous getting the win over the Young Guns in Future Forward. So, let's get rolling as we start off the show here with some booking. Um... So yeah, Alex Braun. Oh right, Dustin Deuce is also injured, so I forgot about that. Anyway, let's go in with some booking first. All right, so this is going to be an interesting show because there's not like a big match, but there's like decent people in decent matches. So let's just first do that because then I can deal with how much time I have for like angles. So, so we got Ernest Youngman versus I'm I'm going to plan for Jebediah, and I'm going to see if I, okay I've not done that match yet, so we can do that. What is Jebediah actually good at? Okay, he is good at brawling and hardcore, so 
Now I was forget, is Young Man actually good at stuff? Or, okay, he's solid either. So actually, we can do this be, have this be our wild brawl um, of the evening, unless I find something better. Young Man goes over. Nothing fancy here. Uh, this can go, this, this can go nine minutes. Let jo Jebediah look good. Then Cerebus. And guess what? Riding Umaga, you are all you are already going to get squash, but this time this is literally a three-minute nothing squash. Cerebus wins. Domination. Clean win. Your little heat seed bank rhino just got uh thrown out of this match. <laughs> um and then we're gonna have Cowboy Book Winchester taking on Antics. Uh, that can be a decent little match. Again, make sure I haven't done it yet. All right, great. This can go. This can go actually seven minutes. Let me make sure their stats here are fine. Yeah, I mean he's not great, but he is what it is. Kaiba Buck gets the one here. Clean win. Decisive. Nothing fancy. Just a big win for Buck. So we're actually going to move this up. Um, and then our main event evening is going to be Logan Wolf Spain taking on. Said Ali, and this gets 10 minutes. Have I done this? No, I have not. Not a complete squash, but a solid win for Logan Wolf Spain. And there we go. All right, so. Logan, because he's the top guy, but we can have service open the show. I'm just going to check something. Yeah, okay. So we're going to actually open with, of course, highlights of Hardcore Revolution. And that's going to focus, of course, on Logan Dual Spain. Let's go to focus on Tano Vecchio, Austin Smooth, Rudy, and I guess we can put in uh, Logan. That can go for three minutes. We'll say four, and we'll go from there. Yep, all right. And storyline-wise, have I actually chickened this around? All right, so. Right, well, I'll do all this after I finish booking the TV. All right, so. We have Cerebus calling that basically coming out, killing Rhino Umaga, and then we have an in-ring match as Carl Batch, backed by his Batch's Blitzers, and Cerebus call out Latino Kings. Batch calls out Latino Kings. We'll say four minutes in the ring, Carl Batch. Cutting a promo. Cerebus. Intimidating. Background player. Background player. Rudy. Off screen. Book the segment. There you go. Um, yeah, we'll have a quick little angle here after the Buck Winchester match. As Cowboy Buck celebrates. Okay. Then we're gonna have Ernie Zugman and Venus are celebrating when Lenny Brown's music hits and he comes out and challenges Youngman to a rematch. So we'll have in the crowd. Yes, background player. So 
we'll save, that, save that those details. We'll add a new detail. Another minute. Lenny Brown working the crowd. Venus Youngman working the crowd. Venus Youngman work. Venus is there. So these these are the details. Add a new part. Whoops, delete. There we go. Part three, okay. And then we'll have we'll change Ernest to cutting a promo. Or yeah. Character development. Lenny Brown to character development. And that part can go four minutes. Young men Lenny confrontation. And then after the main event, Ron Wolf Spain announces he'll get his rematch for the title. I can go for four minutes. Um, well, let's look at old Logan stats here, just because I'm not 100% sure. Let's see here. Logan skills. Okay, promo. Okay, so yeah, we'll do character development off screen. And we'll make the segment. Yes. All right. That's 56 minutes. So let's see here. What is the. Okay, yeah. Um, honestly, this can be a bit of a mayhem. Well, let me see. May car crash. Yeah, there we go. Here, we'll just do that mayhem. All right, there we go. Um, so yeah, four more minutes. Let's see here. We can cut this down to three, I think. Yeah. Um, we can also honestly cut you down another minute. And this can lead to Yeah, okay. Then we're going to have Tennessee Williams backstage. Challenges Austin Smooth to rematch next week. Or you need no real man. We'll do that. Stage interview hype. There we go. So yeah, Tennessee. Again, let me see here. Tennessee is better at the whole. Okay, I mean he's about even, so we'll do just cutting a promo on Austin Smooth. And there we go. That can honestly be after this match. And then we can do, okay, so who's not on this show? Okay, Xavi, but yeah, you, you just lost style, so you can be off TV for a minute or two. Oh man, I totally forgot to send Acid 2 away for the night. Oh well. I hope I don't have to pay him if I don't use him. Um, Martin, no, let's see here. Uh, huh, interesting. Let me see here. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Who do I want to sort of like push forward here? Honestly, let's do a quick little backstage promo with Chip on 
first we have just like a little like promo, just like putting over that he's ready to advance here. And he may be the son of John and Martin, but he's going to do this all on his own, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And he's going to prove it next week. Three minutes, backstage, interview, pre-taped. Okay, there we go. What's here? Oh, wait, did this, I thought I had this be a wild brawl. I must have forgot to mark it. Okay, well, this can be a wild brawl. Okay. Oh, okay, well, shoot. Honestly, we can cut this down to a minute. They're okay. So the one thing is we have like two wild matches in a row. So I think what we'll do here is we will move this up. Yeah, there we go. All right, so here we go for our first show. Let's get rolling with the show. So we start with hard highlights of Harker Revolution, focusing, of course, on the main event match. Ah, oh, shit. I totally forgot to do storylines. Okay, I'll, I'll do that real quick. Anyway, storylines on Antonio Devecki, Austin, who Logan Wilson, and Ruby Villaquez. So let me actually, real quick, go back to the booking screen. Because I forgot to mess up our spread. Okay, so all hell is breaking loose. Logan, you are out of this one. Batch's plan continues. Easy money versus pin. This isn't actually being set up yet, so this is fine to keep for, for the moment. Actually, whoops. We can move Cowboy Buck out of this for the moment. And also, honestly, we'll just remove the... And we'll move the new guys in there next week. Okay, Grumpy Old Men. Um, this is honestly pretty much over. But we're gonna move something new to it next week. Okay, new damn era. All right, so we're adding Logan Wolfsbane back in here. Removing Xavi, sorry for you. Bring your worth. Yeah, we're gonna move, throw some more people in there in a moment. That's it for the moment. And I see smooth continues. All right, so that's it. But anyway, back to the ring. Service kills Ronnie we got it in about three minutes. Uh, this gets a 35, probably 27. Taking ring of 26, it is what it is. Um, and then post-match, of course, like I said, Cerebus, you know, B Batch cuts the promo, calls out the Latino Kings. This gets a 44 because Batch is pretty good. And we got a Chip, Chip Martin promo, which is not bad, but like, you know, not terrible, but not good either. Gets a 31. Then we have, like I said, Tace William challenging Austin Smooth through the rematch next week where we ain't no real man. This gets a 48. And we're going to take you on Jebediah. Um, yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, Jebediah just comes out, tries to do some hardcore stuff, and then fights him off, gets the win, nine minutes, Kurt Russell rating of 54, Kurt rating of 35, same rating of 58, Young gets a 67, Jebediah gets a 40. Um, and then post-match, like I said, is the showdown, uh, 56 overall, the part where, you know, Youngman celebrates, gets a 51, the cell part where Brown comes out, gets a 48, and the back-to-back -back gets a 55. Good stuff, and, you know, we're setting up a big match for the next big show, which I'm just going to make sure is, okay, locked down. Right, okay, that, that's why, okay, right, 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 all right, right, right. Then we have Cowboy Buckwind just repeating antics in five minutes with a neck breaker, wrestling in 41, crowding of 25, sitting ring 45, nothing fancy here, Buckwind just getting the win, and then celebrating to a 30. And then we have our main event, with Logan Wolfsbane getting the win over Sider Lee in 10 minutes with the Belly Belly Suplex, the Belly Belly, wrestling gets a 56, crowding of 33, same rating of 62, Wolfsbane gets a 63, Sider Lee gets a 48, and post-match, Wolfsbane announces he'll get a rematch for the title at lockdown, and it is going to be a steel cage match. There we go. And overall, the show itself gets us a 51. Okay, good stuff. Um, good, good show. Um, as we move forward to booking the next TV show.
Honestly, this will help Corey. Stuntman, you're an asshole. And you're really, like, you're very lucky as that you wanted a team with you for some reason. Regardless, here we go. All right. Oh, that thing was case. Okay. Store creative ideas. Okay, so we got a storyline idea that will help the storyline. So storyline, something that is not actually hot. Let's see here. Very hot, very hot, very hot, very hot. Okay, so also how long? Okay, that's good until October, so we're fine there. Angle idea. Okay. Um, nothing there. Gamble. Okay, gamble on a storyline. Again, all these are stuff we can use when we need to, uh, but not for the moment. Anyway, let's get rolling again with the next TV taping. So, um, I have a tag team match. That's going to be the team of Fort Future Forward taking on Devil Dog and Dumfrey Pen. This goes probably 10 minutes. Probably shorter, actually, but I'm just testing things out. Actually, Corey, you've been an asshole, so Taylor, you get the win here. Dumfrey Pen. Does the job because he's not a good wrestler, but he's a good solid manager. Uh, but open match, pinfall, decisive win. There you go. And we have Chip Martin taking on Reckless. Where are you? Right, Xavier Reckless. Not not Xavier. There we go. Chip Martin. This can go six minutes. Chip Martin gets the win. Clean win. Pinfall, nothing fancy. And then we have our first squash match of the evening, which, let me see here. Right, is there somebody we can have uh, show up to get squashed? Let's see, unimportant people. Um, Honestly, Yeah, this is, what, this is what happened when you piss me off, is you get dropped out very meanly. Clean win, pinfall. Good job not complaining. All right, um, and then our main event. Which honestly, let's see here. What's the most we can do for her? Yeah, we might have to like mess up, mess with the other TV shows. So this goes, let's say this goes twenty. Let's say seventeen. Title match, national title. We'll give it to Rudy. And Tennessee Williams wins the match. Okay, so he wins the match. Let me, let me look at these guys' stats, because if I can get away with, like, doing a... Okay. I mean, they're not bad at hardcore and brawling. Let me look at Austin Smooth's stats. I mean, honestly, I think I'm going to try to get away with a normal match, and we'll throw, like, a random wild brawl on the pre-show to get, get away with what we need to, so... Regular. Open. Ooh, let me look at their site. Can, can they actually call us in the ring? Um, uh, maybe. Eh, not so much. Not so much. If if any of them had ADA, I would do it, but no, not so much. We'll do a slow build. And then we're going to do a tainted finish, a pinfall, outside interference, as Austin Smooth gets hit by Jackpot Jordan of Rich and Famous. Oops. Let me just actually double check this one more time. This Williams wins. Okay, Williams is winning the title here. All right. I will mess up. I will mess with the times of the other matches as need be. All right. So. All right. Okay. So we need a wild brawl, a mayhem, and a car crash. I'm fine with this being our mayhem match. 
and Mayhem is just that just was kicking the crap out of Umaga, mostly. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Blood Soldiers. Tyrity, Legion of Blood. Attack Stuntman outside of Western Auditorium. Leave him laying. Wicked Lester sends a message. We attack Stuntman. So the two minutes here is Wicked Lester. Zomboy. And I always forget who the other guy in this team is because his name is not. Yeah, there we go. Death Wish. Stuntman is the victim. So there we go. Part one. And I copy part one. And then we got Wicked Lester cutting a promo. And then. Zomboy selling. Oh, no, sorry. Stuntman is selling. Zomboy is a background player, as is Death Wish. That says aimed at Acid 2, who's off screen. There we go. All right, so. Backstage, or let's say outside broadcast, angle, pre taped. Storyline development, pre taped, hype, angle, set broadcast. All right. Then we're going to have after the Batches Brutes match, big old fight. Nothing fancy here, just four minutes of just everybody brawling. So we got Cerebus, Blitzer, Bomber, Rudy, Jesus. Um, I was, yeah, Hector, there we go. And this just goes four minutes. Kings come out to brawl with Batches Blitzers. Cerebus also comes out. Yes. Okay, so there we go. That's that promo. Um honestly, yeah. And then we have Okay, so right, this starts the new storyline. All right. As Martin is celebrating, said E, Ali attacks him out of nowhere. So we got Charlie with the attack. Chip Martin is the victim. Ali attacks Chip out of nowhere. All right. <laughs> All right. And then I think we can just finish. Yeah, okay. So yeah, in the ring, Tennessee celebrates with the national title. In the crowd, oops, let's just change that over. All right, so that can be one minute. There we go. All right. 
So then we can go ahead and have our Pulp Fiction style segment. Or actually, yeah, here we go. We'll do here is there we go. forward celebrate there we go change it to a minute and there we go so there you are we'll throw that in there all right so we got feature forward winning okay so now let's play some fun all right so honestly this can be a minute less there we go. All right. I might like mess around a little more. Um, yeah. All right. So then we have our Pulp Fiction style segment. This goes eight minutes. It is backstage. It is all angles. It's pre taped. It's hype. So then, okay. First, we have. Awesome Smooth is pissed. Let's see, Hura shows up to say he'll back him up. Antonio Delvecchio, happy to show up. Logan Will Spain. Again, I'll have a partner. find a partner. The Kino Kings promo. All right, so I realized as I was doing some stuff, I forgot to totally um, turn my pausing off. So um, I'm just gonna go over what I did here real quick. Um, so we have Austin Smooth is pissed. Dave Verish shows himself back him up anything he wants to do after he lost the uh, national title. We have Antonio Vecchio happy to show up Logan Will Spain again. You know, and next week right here at Steel City Smash, he'll have a partner that has actual gold. And you find a partner buddy and I'll show him why it's still ADV's world. The King's Burmo challenging Cerebus and Batch's Blitzers to a, to a cage war at, the, um, at Lockdown. Then Rich and Famous explain why they helped Tennessee Williams. Basically, they paid him off. There I go. Um, yeah, I went through booking just because I'm dumb. And also, I um, booked Antics versus Jebediah in a uh, pre-show match. Like I said, usually I don't want to cheese the like requirements by doing this, but like this is a big match, and I'm sure people have been happy. Um, anyway, I think I went over Lobby attacking the stuntman. Uh, I moved that to the forward. I cut off, I cut off some time. But if you missed anything, hopefully that explains it. Also, I fixed all the storylines. So everybody is where, where they should be. I'll go over that after the show. Let's see, store creative ideas. Is there anything here? Storyline? I mean, angle? Let's actually add this. Well, okay. Is there any other big angles coming in? Not, mm, not really. I mean, there will be big angles, but not like super big angles. So I think this is fine. Yeah. So where are you? Hold on. Road age. Oh, because it's going to the angles. Hold on. There we go. Angle idea. Yeah, we'll add that. All right. So let's get rolling with the actual show now that I um, stop messing things up. Honestly. Anyway, we have, of course, on the. Ooh, Jebediah, you got hurt. 37, 22, 26 pre show match. It's fine. Antics is okay. Jebediah is actually better. But yeah, it is what it is. Yes, I, I, I saw that. Anyway, so um, so basically what happens here is we cut to, you know, at basically at the start of the show, Stuntman, one half of the PSW National Tag Team Champions, is attacked outside of the Western Auditorium. And, you know, he sends a message at um, ASA2. You're basically, he, you may be over in Japan right now, but, you know, we aren't done with you at, at, um, at, our, at the next big show. At lockdown, I want you 
we want you the supposed best tag team in Picture Studio Wrestling one more time in a cage so my followers can take those go away from you. 30, 29 for the attack, 31 for the angle. Mm. Then we have in a pretty good match here, Future 4 defeated Pin Enterprise Limited in 8 minutes when Tedder pins Pen with the Tumble Gold Splash. This goes to 37, Carver gets a 25, Superman 43, Corey gets a 37, Norton gets a 27, Pin gets a 37, Double Gold gets a 46. Good stuff. And post match, you basically celebrate to a 40 as we, these undercard tag team push continues. So we have Batch's Roots destroying Ryan Omega and Vendetta in 3 minutes. Blitzer, you know, just kills Omega with a good range power bomb, wrestling rating of 30. Crowd rating of 20, segment rating of 23 overall. Bomber gets a 27, Blitz Circuit gets a 28, Vanna gets a 29, Mario gets a 36. And then post match, of course, we get the big old brawl, which gets a 34. Uh, Kitchen Martin gets the win over Zay Varakos with a super kick. Uh, we're starting of 37, crowding of 23, crowding of 24. Saber gets a 24, Chip Martin gets a 39. And as he's celebrating out of nowhere, Sadly, with the attack, as the entrants are confused, why Sadly is doing this to. The, you know, son of his, you know, law, other long time veteran, PSW, you know, stalwart Johnny Martin, as he somehow just attacks him, this gets a 39. And then we have Austin Smooth losing the national title to Chinese Williams in a little over 60 minutes, thanks to Dallas Crossroad, after an interference from Jack Park Jordan. Um, crowd rate, restaurant rating is 62, crowd rating of 34, second rating of 63 overall, Smooth gets a 68, Smooth gets a 57. I guess we have a cap of 15 minutes, basically. And there we go, Tennis Williams celebrates with the National Championship to a 53. And then we have our four promos, like I said. Austin Smooth is pissed. Xavier shows up and says he'll back him up. That gets a 45. And Hood of Echo says you know, he'll, he'll show up, you know, pulling Wilson Man again, show why he's the PSW champion. So he'll have a partner, and you find a partner for next week at Seal City Smash. That gets a 41. 37. Uh, like, you know, his promo saying it's time for a cage war. And then the promo from Merchant and Famous planning. Why Tace Williams is going to help him out. It's going to be money. That's all gets you 37. So let's also throw in some pre-shows, pre-booking for some other big matches. And that is going to include um, Ernie Zugman versus Lenny Brown. One more time. And this is going to be officially confirmed, basically, like on the website. It is going to be Acid 2 has sent a message in from Japan. He accepts the challenge, and they are going to shut off the Legion of Blood once and for all. And it will be in a cage match. The tag titles on the line. Solid stuff there. Um, 42 overall. Show itself gets a 49. So not bad. Let's take several locker room incidents. Good stuff. All right. All right. Let's move on to the third TV show of the evening. Oops, sorry. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and add some matches and go from there. Sorry, computer's being a little wacky there for a second. Never mind. Uh, I just had to hit pause there. Hold on one moment. Alrighty, let's get rock and rolling with the actual TV show now. Sorry, I just had the only slight computer issues, but let's go with the matches. So we're going to have a we're gonna have the match basically set up last week by Xavier for our saying I'll help out uh Jack uh Austin Smooth after Jack Pratt Jordan and Jake uh Jake Idol interfered against to help him lose the national title. So we'll have that match set up. And there we go, we're gonna set that match up real quick. And yeah, that can go 11 minutes. Let me look at these guys' skills. Let me see if anything stands out about their skills. Um, okay, Xavier's a good brawler. Jordan's a, okay, I mean, decent brawler than hardcore. So yeah, this can be our, our wild brawl, quote unquote. Uh, and then it can win, end in a zero for a win, open match, outside of interference as uh, Jake Idol gets involved. Intentional DQ finish, cheap win, and yeah, there we go. I hope the fans don't hate this. I think, let me look at the product. Um, do, I don't think they need clean finishes. Ah, uh, okay, so, hmm. Okay, hmm. 
because I do think like even if I had like this like just obvious interference like this should be like okay for the fans to turn on but okay for we're not going to do this then we're just going to do a cheap finish or like yeah a tainted finish uh tainted 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 Jackpot Jordan gets uh yeah well, we'll just keep ZB very strong and we'll have yeah tainted win pinfall open Victor is going to be Jackpot Jordan, but it's after plenty of interference. Is he okay with this? He is okay with this. Okay, then we have our main event. Which is honestly just as big, if not bigger, as it's going to be Logan Wolf Bank taking on Cowboy, but Cowboy Winchester taking on two champions. As that's Ronald Vecchio and Tennessee Williams team up. This can go 15. And in the end, as Antonio and Logan Wolfsbane are, are probably on the outside, Cowboy Book Winchester actually gets the win over Tennessee Williams. Open match. Clean win. Pinfall finish. Book Winchester get a win over the new US national champion. So we'll have that match. And we're also going to have a squash match for the hot tags. We're have Walter and uh, Wolfie as he takes on the team of Vendetta and Ryo Umaga. It's a complete squash win for the hot tags as Calder gets the win over Rhino. Completely cl clean. All right. Um, so that's 36 minutes. We can maybe mess with the timing. But honestly, like, I'm not sure if like I want any other match here. Uh, let's see here. You look like who's not booked. Um, we're moving we're moving forward on the young men. Lenny Brown thing next week, as that's just part of the post-match stuff. Um, Acid 2's not on TV, because he's, like, over in Japan. Um, honestly, I don't mind giving Seed a squash win, and then to explain himself, so yeah, we'll do that. So Seed, um, actually, and we can actually pull in a local worker here. So, hey, Capiel Wood, have you done any jobs for that person specifically? No, okay. So we'll negotiate, you come in as a face, and then Zephyra can absolutely kill ya. Again, four minutes, Zephy wins. Oh no, sorry, not Zephy. Why, why did I think that was, say you not Zephy? I'm sure I said his name like too many times. That was just me being very dumb. So here, remove that. Add and say as a winner. Domination. And yeah, we'll just say three minutes for this. You can have this be a wacky mayhem opener. Yeah, there we go. Open that up. And then yeah, 41 minutes. So maybe we have this go a minute shorter. It should be a short, short 40. And then show ends with Antonio Del Vecchio and Logan Wolfsbane brawling to the parking lot. ADV is advantage. It's DT on the concrete parking lot. Stands over Wolfsbane. Go just yeah, these two guys just fighting. And we'll give a regular storyline victory. Uh, as soon as I remember who's in which, which storyline. Hold on. This is just like the main right now. Uh new damn error, right? Okay. Antonio getting one over with Wolf Spain. Segment. Oh right. V and we'll Spain crawl into parking lot. Okay. Now I'll have the show open with a ADV and Tennessee. Have a mutual appreciation society. Spain interrupts. 
brings out his partner. Cowboy Buck Winchester. Scared of animal aroma. All right, so first part will be three minutes of just Antonio. And Tennessee Williams doing some character development. Then for another three minutes, Logan Wolfsbane can be added. And then we can have Callie Winchester come out as a cameo. And then we can have a one minute Cali Book Winchester cutting a promo. Everybody else working the crowd. Ah, shit. Oops, that, that's my fault. I totally forgot. To, okay, oops, that, this is my fault. Um, so, Tyson Williams, sorry, this is back to cutting a promo. Oh, yeah, cutting. Working a crowd, Logan Wolfsbane cutting a promo, and Vecchio working a crowd, then Kali Buck in a cameo. So that's two minutes. We add a copy of part three. There we go. We, we take this down to a minute, and then Kali Buck Winchester cuts a promo, and then everybody, and then Logan is working a crowd as well. And then we add a copy of part three with just then everybody working the crowd, playing things as the announcers put over things. There we go. All right. Mm. I guess this can be, this can be, this first part can be four minutes. There we go. All right. Opening. Yes, this is very sports in, but sometimes you need a little bit of sports in in your regular fed. Um, then you have an angle where Dumfrey Pin calls out your forward for a tag match at lockdown. Nothing fancy here, just an in ring promo. As we got Dumfrey Pin cutting again, let me lift the roster here. Old oh, Dumfrey, what are you actually good at? Okay, you're good at either, so we can just do a promo aiming at Taylor Norton and Corey Underwood off screen. Calder and Wolfie, the background players. And let me look at like actually, Kimmy Ling, are you actually useful or are you just pretty? Ah, eh, okay. And Kimmy Ling can book the crowd. Pin challenges future forward for match at lockdown. Now. That means that means Taylor and Corey and get added to that, and we can give a long featured minor storyline victory to Dumfrey Pen. That's three minutes. And then Ali explains himself, basically, Johnny Martin was an is is an is an a hole. His son is an a hole, etc. You know he's a heel. Explains his actions. This can also go three minutes. Again, say Ali, what are you actually good at, buddy? I mean neither. So we'll just do character development. Martin's off screen. And yeah, nothing fancy here. Oh yeah. Well, a we'll change this to three minutes, but also we will give a 
So your storyline victory to say to Lee in that. Okay. And then we can do a quick little quick head angle. As steel circle attack, lost smooth, runs them off. So we got Freeway's favorite, Ernest Youngman, Jackpot Jordan, Jake Idol doing the attack. Your friend in ours, Xavier Vera, is the victim, and making the save is, of course, Austin Smooth. This goes three minutes. We'll give a regular storyline victory to. And probably should just rename these as something I'll have to remember. Okay, Tennessee Smooth. Rich and smooth. Yeah. So we'll give regular straight line in rich and smooth to often smooth over Jackpot Jordan and over Jake Idol. And then we'll give a minor short line victory to Jackpot Jordan over Zavi and Jake Idol over Zavi. Okay, so that can be the finish to that. Let's see here. Um, just because I like having it be a sweet, this can be a bit, uh, honestly, this can be just even shorter. All right. So yeah, total squash here. Uh, creative ideas, near certainty, storyline, gamble, gamble, like run, create a finish. Are there any storylines that need it? Let's see here. Nope, not really. Okay, so. We have the show all booked out. So let's go ahead and book this baby. As I said, we got the opening of the show, which gets a 49. Let's see here. Logan didn't do great. Um, okay, so yeah, we start out with basically ADV having the mutual appreciation side, which is a 44. Will Spain interrupts, introduce Cowboy Buck Winchester. Winchester has a little promo. Then we have a stereo on a Rommel, which gets a 49. 53 for the Cowboy Buck Winchester promo. 46 for the Will Spain promo. 44 for ADV in Tennessee in the ring. So good stuff, building everything up. This gets a 49. Oh, I forgot to start beginning a new storyline with, with Williams in Tennessee. Oh, well. Uh, then we got Hot Tags taking on Vendetta Rhino. And Hot Tags get the big one here quickly, like I said. Wrestling rating of 40, crowding of 23, with saving rate of 36 overall. Wolfie gets a 50, Calder gets a 43, Rhino gets a 37, Vanna gets a 28. Nothing fancy here, just a quick little squash win. And then post match, like I said, Dumfrey Fenn basically says, My men, Calder tag, and Wolfie tag. They have this close between the tag team champions, and now everybody's talking about this new hot tag team. Well, these men are the future of this business, and under my tutelage, they'll rise to the top. So, if you're men, show up to lockdown, and get beat by the hot tags. 36, not a bad promo here. We had Ali killing Happy Elwood in a two minutes. GBH driver, wrestling rating of 39, crowding of 21, segment rating of 33. Ali gets a 48, Happy Elwood gets a 30. And then of course, like, yeah, post-match, and Mernes, a hole, his son is in a hole. He's the only true OG in PSW, gets a 32. Nothing fancy here. And then we have the Xavier Herrera versus Jackpot Jordan match. Like I said, very good match. Jackpot Jordan gets the win here over Xavier Herrera. With the cash and after an interference from Jake Idol, and because it's PSW, interference doesn't really matter. Wrestling rating of 49, crowd rating of 33, and then segment rating of 52. Savior gets a 57, Jack McCordon gets a 41. Good stuff. Um, you know, solid match here. And then post match, we have the, you know, beat down, but then Austin Spooth runs them off. This gets a 47, and you're just building things up as we're getting on to the big matches, which I think I booked them both. No, I have not. All right. So actually, let's throw in this match is official. It's going to be Jackpot Jordan and Jake Idol versus Xavier Ferrer and Austin Smooth. What's the other matches we can do? I mean, this will basically be announced on the uh, like website afterwards. It's going to be Nessie Williams' first events of the 
national title, taking on Cowboy Buck Winchester. And also officially announced will be Calder Tag and Hot Tag. The Hot Tag's taking on Taylor Norton and Corey Wonderwood, aka Future Forward. And I think that's basically it for the announced matches. Don't make care. The big match, the world title match, tag match, national title match, tag match. Sorry, obviously I forgot the biggest match. Well, at least as teams. So we got, of course, Cerebus, Blitz, Bomber, Rudy, Jesus, Hector. There we go. Fun stuff. All right. So, like I said, this gets you 47. I mean, move forward with the show. As in the main event, like I said, Wolf Spain and Delacue run off, and Kyle Winchester pins and Williams with the neckbreaker. Uh, wrestling rating of 57, crowd rating of 38, segment rating 58 overall. Buckwick gets a 56, Logan gets a 64, Williams gets a 57, Delacue gets a 52. And then, of course, we have the post match angle as Wolf Spain brawls to the parking lot. ADEV gains the advantage, sends him into sort of like the, you know, the the, the trunk of a car picks him up, DZ on the car, parking lot, Sands rolls Spain. Even better if it's raining a lot, Cody and the Rock, but there we go. And the show ends with a 49. So, you know, could be worse, um, but really good solid show building things up as we move forward here on Steel City Smash. And then we finish the show. And let's see, any more locker room incidents? No. All right, great, 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 great good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. So, we have then our last TV taping of the night. And I realized I changed some booking around and I totally messed that up. Okay, well, we can just start things out here as we have Cerebus versus Rudy Valquez in a big old brawl. And guess what? This doesn't really ever have a finish. Let me see here. I mean, I'm fine with this like hurting the match, yeah. As just everybody gets involved. So Cerebus gets attacked by Hector and Jesus. And that leads to, of course, Rudy getting attacked by Blitz and Bomber. And yeah, maybe this even goes for shorter. Oh, whoops. Hey, Rudy. Yeah, let Johnny throw there. there. There we go. Yeah, just a complete mess setting up the, the big match. Then we've got Sutman versus Zomboy. And let me see here. Zomboy's annoyed. However, he is he in the tri state. Okay, he's a 25. Stuntman's a 28, and he's okay. So, yeah, all right. Hopefully, if I actually book the show. So, we got Stuntman versus Zomboy. This goes seven minutes. It's a car crash. Zomboy over. Of course, it's tainted. Thanks to outside interference from your friend and mine, Death Wish. And there you go. Then we've got our main event, which, of course, as you'd expect, is a three way match. And then it'll be Lenny Brown, Favora, and Austin Smooth taking on Ernest Youngman, Jackpot Jordan, and Jake Idol. This can go 13, let's say 14. But in the end, Lenny Brown gets the win, let's say over Jake Idol. Oops, come on. There we go. Open match, and then pinfall, clean. We'll use our creative finish. There we go. Okay. So if we're looking at stuff to actually build up, okay. So Logan and ADV are basically all set up. Um, Tennessee, we need a like basically a little showdown. Um.
Have I done future forward? Eh, I mean, it's sort of a, a wacky six man for the sake of having a wacky six man. But it also, like, at least does a little bit of, like, the, um, okay, yeah, we, we can totally do that. So. Any specials? Actually, let's make this a, a ant tag just to really make it wacky. On one side, we've got Chip Martin, we got Corey Underwood, we got Taylor Dorton, and we got. Um, because I don't want to do Cowboy Buck. Honestly, let's go with Vendetta. Maybe, maybe Jimmy Bia. Uh, we're sort of weak on like both undercard bay faces. And on the other side, we have, of course. Devil Dog, Wolfie Tag, Alder Tag, and their partner, at least for the night, you won the only side at Lee. God, I think, well, because I don't want to throw like an obvious dropper in there, but the problem is like everybody else are not like obvious droppers. Um, ask for it. Bennett is at least like not a complete like joke character, but he's also annoyed. Um, Jeopardy is at least impressive. Yeah, all right. Mm. Eight man tag. And then in the end, Calder gets the win over Corey Underwood. Open match. Clean win. There we go. All right. So. Six minutes for this. Um... Honestly, yeah. Here, we can just have this be a wild brawl. And there we go. Let me think here. Okay, so we got this match. Yeah, we can just do a good angle. Kings versus Batch Enterprises Brawl. So yeah, that can be Cerebus. Rudy. Jesus. Hector. Wits. Bomber. That can go for four minutes. Post match. Escapes. There we go. So we got that for the post match. He will celebrate after the match. That's everybody. Calder celebrates. Wolfie celebrates. Cammy celebrates. Zeta celebrates. Don't Pin celebrates. Even Double Dog. Even 
Hello, Alex Alberts. There we go, nothing fancy here. Okay. And this can be like our main event as it's actually ending the show, and then we go from there for the rest of the show, so okay. Um, yeah. We'll do a new storyline. National Pride. Tennessee Williams versus Cowboy Winchester. And Tennessee confronts Winchester backstage. There we go. Nothing fancy here. Just Cowboy Tennessee Williams doing some character development. Okay, so Logan, Will Spain, everybody else does not really matter. That's great. So. Oh, because I deleted the wrong thing. All right, there we go. That's fine. Thank you, promo. Show his greatness and his intelligence. AV, promo. Minutes, set a broadcast, angle, critiqued, hyped, and then that's on Logan Wolf Spain. There we go. Yes. And then we have a Logan Wolf Spain promo. Two other things. Once he kept the title for once. So there we go. Four minutes. Next stage. Free taped. That would be the Wolf Spain. On, uh, on your friend and mine, Antonio Del Vecchio. And there we go. Book that. All right. Wolf Spain. What aren't people happy about? Okay, that's fine. Um, honestly, here. This can be three. Yeah, this can totally be three minutes. All right, so. No other issues? There are no other issues. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's a solid show. As we're ready to roll here for our last show of the TV taping. So, let's get going. Again, just double check. No, there are no issues, okay, so. Sarah vs. Rudy, of course, this just goes into complete chaos. Um, okay, so we didn't get, oh yeah, fans hated the ending to the match. Okay, I mean, it hurt of like five points, not the on the world. Uh, 39 for Sarah Rudy for 52. This goes four minutes, like obviously this is just a setup for a brawl. The brawl itself gets a 39, it is what it is. Then we have Buck Winchester and Tennis Williams confronting each other backstage, setting up the National Pride storyline, you know, for the, for the title, which I think I officially booked in. Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. I guess we can also say officially it is going to be Chip Martin versus Sayyid Ali. There you go. And Stuntman defeating Zomboy, or Zomboy defeating Stuntman in six of minutes with flying double stop after interference with Death Wish, Car Crash, um, 41 res wrestling rating, 27 crowd rating, 7 rating at 44, Stuntman got a 47, Stuntman got a 35. It's a pretty decent match here. There's Zomboy looking good. Of course, the Legion Blood coming through attack, but Stuntman gets like just enough, uh, you know, moves in to escape um, as the answer put over. It's going to be a big match at the pay per view for the tag titles inside a cage. Um, yeah. So you have. Delicchio, you know, basically talking about his great insight intelligence, 42. The Man Tag, which gets a 48 as 
Paul Dertag pins Corey Underwood. Uh, wrestling rating of 42, crowd rating of 25, Sagan rating of 48. Jeff Hardy gets a 43, despite being injured. Taylor gets a 29, Corey gets a 37, Jeff Martin gets a 37, Sayla gets a 50, Calder gets a 40, Wolfie gets a 51, and Devil Dog gets a 47. Post match, the heel celebrate to a 32. Then we have our own Wolfsbane promo. In response, this gets a 43. And the main event gets a 58. And of course, the Lenny Brown creative official was failure, but still gets a 58 overall. As Lenny Brown gets the win over Jake Idol with the star treatment. Smooth gets a 55. Xavier gets a 54. Lenny gets a 58. Idol gets a 50. Jack Portrait gets a 45. Ernst Young gets a 69. And the show itself gets us a 48. So, salt stuff here. Injury review. Yeah, Jebediah is. He's just like, yeah, injury tutorial. We lost a lot of money. We gained some popularity. And that's that. So, let's roll through this. See what mail we got. And we will go from there. Do, 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 do. All right. Everybody's unhappy. Everybody. All right. Uh, all right. Interesting, 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 interesting. Uh, okay, if he gets to get, come in, probably as a heel. Um, those are the spoilers, but it is what it is. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at. So we'll be, let me see, let me look back at the short history. So, uh, 4051, okay, yeah. So TV tapings are about where they should be. Um, we'll see if the big show is as good as it should be as well. But I'll be back in just a moment with that, at least on your side. All right, welcome everybody to PSW Lockdown, live from the beautiful, uh, well, we'll figure out where it is in a moment, but first let's uh, see. Is there anybody we're giving the night off? Uh, the night off. Let's see here. Um, who else is not going to be booked tonight that I don't then have to pay their trance? Save your buddy, you're not being here tonight. Let's see here. Honestly, Venus, he'll be here just to do what he'll be able to do right in, most likely. Uh, Teddy Powell, you can be giving the night off. Let's see here. Rudy, right now you can be giving the night off. Jebediah can be giving the night off. And that's actually about it. Yeah. Well, antics can also be given the night off. There we go. All right. Of course, we are at the beautiful PSW Arena in front of hopefully a whole bunch of people. We will be on Wrestle World. All right. So we have 188. So first we need a, a gimmick idea. Gamble gimmick. We need a create a finish. Safe bet finish. Okay, so we got 88 left, so we can do one big move. So actually, um, shit, I wish we could check our storylines. Honestly, let's do we don't need an angle yet because it's mostly a show. So let's honestly do one storyline idea. And honestly, one character idea. There we go, one point left. All right. Some locker room incidents. Um, Sorry, no, maybe next time. Drink, drink, rotten, all right. Stuntman, stuntman, stuntman. You're aware you only have a job right now because Acid 2 and you're the tech champs, right? You do realize that, because otherwise you are way, you are this close to being thrown out. Yay. Um, okay. Jesus Christ, okay. 
<laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, yeah. Good, good job. Good job, Jackpot. All right, there we go. Address the locker room. Um, this is a decently big show, so why not? All right, so let's first do our booking of the pre-booking. So we got the hot tag versus future Ford. This can go, okay, let me make sure. I think they're set, so they're not really good. Okay, so yeah. So this, let me look, double check hot tags, because this can just be a regular match if like there's nothing, okay. Right, these guys are only good, the old Calder and Wolfie here are only good at basically brawling and hardcore. So we'll, we'll just do a regular match here. And, Right, because we're in this feud first. All right, yeah. Wolfie can get the win over Taylor or Underwood. Open match. We'll have to do it regular. That'll be a tinted win. Thanks to, of course, distraction from Kenny at inside. Then we have Chip Martin say Ali. Okay, we're looking at Chip's skills here. Yeah, okay, so this can be Chip Martin win. Open, decisive. Sorry, Tilly. You're old. All right. Then we're going to do Tennessee Williams versus Cowboy Buck Winchester, and this can go, I think, 13. Let's look at these guys' stats again. All right, so Cal Okay, so if we're doing anything, we're doing a brawl, I'm going to guess. And yes, we're doing a wild brawl. So 13 minutes, titles are on the line, and this ends in a... So yeah, we're going to do a wild brawl. Tainted win, chicanery. Williams takes the title. You can't do a third. Hold on. Buck, you're not. I mean, you're getting there, but. Seriously, man? Okay. Oh, whoops. Why did I not. Hold on. There is Tennessee Williams. There we go. He goes over. Yes, I know. You're mad about that. All right. So let's adjust things. So this, yeah. Some more pre-booking. Okay. Rich and Famous, Uber, Xavier Fur, and Alex Smooth. This can go 15 minutes. Yeah, let me look at these guys' stats again. Okay. So yeah, they can actually have a very good match. And let's look at old Jackpot and Jake. All right. Yeah, okay. And yeah, okay. So Jake Idol gets the win on DB Ferrera. Let's say car crash. Open tainted pinfall. Some part part of miscommunication, and the heels pick up the win. Then we have Ernie Sigmund versus Lenny Brown. Yeah, let me see here. Lenny skills. He's best at brawling. Okay, so this can also be a wild brawl. It can go 14 minutes. Lenny Brown gets a measure of revenge here. Clean win. Pinfall. There you go. Okay. And now here's where the fun starts. So first, we got the cage match. And so a little bit of thing here is I was originally going to give the Blood Soldiers the titles here, but I have another idea for what, what that stable will do for the next couple months. So unfortunately, Double May Care, hold on to the titles. This goes 12 minutes. I see what are you guys good at anything? 
like anything at all. I mean, you're decent at hardcore, and so yeah, okay. So this can be a mayhem match. As a two, gets the win on, on Zomboy, or actually Death Wish, sure. Open, clean, and they keep the tag titles. There we go. And then we have there we go. Okay, so this can be a three on three. Okay, so if we do this is a two on two cage match. Cage modern. Add new match. Three versus three. Cage war. Save. This can go 15 minutes. Rudy can get the win over Bomber. Open match, nothing fancy, just a clean win for the And that. So there we go. Uh, and then we have our main event. And again, 15 minutes. The Vecchio gets the t keeps the title. Pinfall win. A tainted win though. After we have outside interference. Oh no, actually, uh, God. Yeah, from Marina Del Rey. No, Marina and Amara, okay, took each other off. So actually, yeah, this is actually going to be just a win. Skills, okay, so 78, right, okay, hardcore, and then I think this is also going to be another wild brawl. Yeah, okay, so this is going to be another wild brawl. There you go, okay, so. We're then. We then have one more last match, which is not included as part of the card. Let's see here. Singles, exclude, or rebooked. All right, so. It's going to be a basically Zippy, Three Pepper, Rafe. I'm gonna say he's over enough to be like a. Is he good enough? Eh, not really. All right, so yeah. So it's gonna be Jerry Pepper, Rafe, and Zippy. Save. Ten minutes. High spots. Jerry Pepper over Rafe. Open match. Clean win. And fall finish. All right, so let's just rearrange this. So this go, this is our before the cage match main event. Um, this can be our hot opener. Hot ties can follow that up. Then Shamarns, and then yeah, two straight big matches. Then all the cage matches, which gotta make sense just for that. Part. All right, so let's. Take off a minute for this match, just for the sake of keeping at 140. And then let's add the, um... so we have our opening angle where the announcers flip over the show. So 
So we got Mitch Nice hosting. I got Alex Braun and Joy Poison cutting a promo. Joy Poison is in the background. Triangle with announcers. This goes, and then the match people like or the Wolfbane. Ernie Sigman. And Reveloquez. And Tennessee Williams. Then after Rich and Famous. Come on, we, we, come on, quick at angle, there we go. One minute, in the ring. Jackpot and Jake, which is famous. Celebrate. And then we have May Poison introducing the Sharpening Steel open contract where the winner will get her as a manager. Let's go three minutes. As the poison actually cuts a promo. Actually, this can go two minutes. And then we get the I cut part one, which is a minute. And we got work, May working the crowd. And then the debut of Rafe. Then we can add a copy of part two. Oops. Yes. Which can be Rafe poison and then Pepper working the crowd. And then we can add a copy of part three, which can also go, which can go two minutes and include all, all these people, but also zip, cutting promo, telling the crowd to zip their look. Introduces the sharpening steel. Open. Okay, so, and then for the post-match angle, Cherry Pepper and May Poison leave together. Just May working the crowd, Cherry working the crowd. Oops. Pepper and Poison are together. All right, there we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Got a post-match angle. Pretty simple forward here. Hot tags. Hot tags and Kimmy. Celebrate win. And that's Wolfie. Calder. Kimmy. So there you go. Have a fun little angle. Sadie goes for post match attack. Johnny Martin makes the save. Now, this is not going to be a storyline, this is just going to be a little fun thing. So, Sadie fighting. Johnny Martin fighting. Chip Martin fighting. The attacks. Johnny Martin saves. And then we'll have a regular storyline victory. Which 
Chip Martin over CLE. All right. William goes to lay it in to Cowboy, but Winchester fights back, lays out Tennessee with the Lariat Odoom. So again, post match angle to continue things. I see Williams fighting Cowboy Book Winchester fighting their storyline victory. National Pride, Cowboy Buck gets a win over Tennessee Williams. Fun stuff. Cowboy gets some revenge. All right. Nothing fancy here, just going around celebrating. Hmm. Does this actually take shorter than doing the quick ad? Maybe? Kings celebrate. This can go for two minutes just because, like, it's you know after a big old cage match. So work the crowd. Uh, Hector works the crowd, and Jesus works the crowd. And now this is the other real angle here. Is as the Double make are celebrating. Out of nowhere comes rich and famous layout. Double make hair in the cage and take the PSW tag titles. Oh god! Oh yeah, just total wipeout. Jack Jordan, attacker. Jake Idol, the attacker. Acid 2, the victim. Stuntman, the victim. Three minutes. Rich and famous. Lay out DMC. And steal the belts. There you go. Ooh, actually, for this, let's actually also throw in a crazy bump from Zomboy and a stump bump from the stump man. Uh, let's see here. Okay, storyline wise. Ooh, okay, so actually there we go. Everything else can be the same. Okay, so we got a uh, gamble storyline gimm gimmick. Honestly, just because it's the only thing I'm really gambling on is let's There we go. And character. Okay. So going over our characters, let's see here. Who is dot have mo oh, some great momentum that I care about? Okay, Corey. Let's help you out, buddy. Oof. All right. Well, that was worth work. It did not work out. So it is what it is.
I'll live. Um, all right, so we'll Spain, Antonio Vecchio. Um, ooh. The only problem is, like, we really, I mean, we could do Lenny Brown, but I'm not, like, spoiler alert, I'm not actually going to give Lenny Brown the belt here. But, uh, we have somebody coming in, so okay. So yeah, we'll just end the show. Del Vecchio stands tall. Work in the crowd. Nothing fancy here. All right. All right. So, create a finish. Let's actually throw this in the, um, yeah. Uh, actually, let's do this in the, just because I wonder here. Um, oh, actually, since this is a safe bet, let's actually put this in the, no, no, no. Like, yeah, that's the thing is, I want this match to be better, better than, actually, yeah, I want to have a little chip here. So yeah, here we go. Chip. You, you get to create a finish. All right, and I just want to make sure what the match is. Okay, so, rich and famous, this is a car crash. This is a hot high spots match. Hot tag and feature forward is a regular match. Chip Arnaud Lee is hardcore, right? Yeah, so that's hard, that's fine. Tennessee and Buck is a wild brawl. Ernest and Brown is a hardcore match, which is fine. And then it's hardcore. It's mayhem. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Only because I think having a mayhem and wild brawl back to back would be bad is I am moving this up, even though it's going to be a worse match. This might be a bad idea, like layout-wise, but we'll just have to see what happens there. So, here we are. Let's get rolling with the actual pay-per-view itself. After a whole bunch of stuff we could have done. All right, so let's get rolling as, yeah. Um, quick analysis, let's make sure. Yeah, I know, okay, you're fine. So our opening angle is the enters basically put over the match. This gets a 36. Nothing fancy here, just a opening promo putting over the big show. And we got locked down. Our opening match is Rich and Famous taking on Xavier Ferrer and Austin Smooth. Is Rich and Famous getting the win over Xavier Ferrer and Austin Smooth in 15 minutes when Idol pins Ferrer with the house always wins after some uh after just so it says after Angeli interfered, but what really happened is Austin Smooth and Xavier Ferrer are not the loyal tag team that Rich and Famous are, so they have some miscommunication. Rich and Famous take advantage. And Idol pins Ferrero with the house always wins. Resident rating of 60, crowd rating of 33, sigma rating of 66. Idol gets a 55, Shock Warner gets a 57, Smooth gets a 70, Ferrero gets a 58. And then post match, Jordan and Idol and Angelotti celebrate the win here as this gets a 52. And then posts, we have the May Poisoning and Arrest, uh, you know. Revealing the Sharpening Steel open contract where the winner will get her as a manager. You know, basically putting her over as, you know, she's been watching for the past few months. But she's wanting to show everybody that she's more than just Joy Poison's daughter. She's her niece. She's here to make her own impact. And she wants to bring a new wrestler into Pittsburgh Steel Wrestling and bring him to the top. So we get first, you know, uh, Ray Fresh coming out. He gets the already legendary game, which gets an adequate... Jerry Pepper's hot stuff coming gets it rating of adequate, and then Zippy Javel, Zip the Love Gimmick comes out, and he says, I read it, zip their lip, and watch true greatness in the ring. Good stuff. Let's look at the angle here. So yeah. Adequate. Small boost to psychology, small boost to charisma. This all gets a 26. And then post-match, the actual match gets a 16. Crowd rating of 2, rest rating of 14, second rating of 16. Uh 10 for Zippy. 18 for Zippy. Riff gets a 10. Pepper gets a 13. Pepper pins Rafe with the pile driver. 10 minutes and post match. Jerry pays it. Poison and May poison, poison leave together. This gets 826. 
And then White Hot, we have the Hot Tags getting the win over Future Ford in a little under 10 minutes when White Wolfie Tag pins Corey Underwood with Montana Slammer after destruction of Kane Ling. Wrestling rating of 48, crowd rating of 26, same rating of 57. Wolfie gets a 47, Calder gets a 44, Corey gets a 41, Taylor Warren gets a 59. Good stuff. Um, yeah, and then post match, the heel celebrate to a 34. Afterwards, okay, so they didn't click, which is unfortunate, but Chip Martin gets the win here um, with a super kick over Ali, gets a nine. Maybe like Ali is coming with like some sort of like implement of destruction, and Ali just super kicks it right into him, or gets a super kick right into his face. Or gets the win here, wrestling ring of 40, probably ring of 22, second ring of 47, 37 for Chip, Ali gets a 44. Post match, Ali goes for the attack, but Johnny Moore makes the save for his son, and the Holy Butcher's arm does get a 38. Post match, then we got Tennessee Williams taking on Cali Book Winchester in a wild brawl. Uh, 51 wrestling rating, 33 crowd rating, 56 segment rating. Williams gets a 55, Book Winchester gets a 47. Uh, basically, he uses the title belt here to get the win. Uh, you know, and, it's, you know and, and he's celebrating. Afterwards, he goes to, you know, really lay it in. Winchester fights back and then lays out Tennessee Williams with the Larry of Doom to get a 45 and a bit of a comeback here. Ernie Sewing. Losing to Lenny Brown as Brown gets his measure of revenge with a star treatment. Fanny Sound, she tries to get involved, but, you know, basically, you know, she isn't able to pull it off. And Lenny Brown gets the big win here at lockdown. 73 segment rating, 67 wrestling rating, 52 crowd rating, probably the best match of the night. And post-match, Lenny celebrates to a 57. And now we get our next match, which is going to be the big tag team title match. As Devil May Care retained the titles over Blood Soldiers in 12 minutes, Massage Pins, Death Wish the Body Breaker. Um, so, Summon gets a 51, Assage gets a 52, Zombie gets a 42, Death Wish is a 34, Wrestling Ring of 45, Crowding of 27, Same Rating of 51. Let me see here. Um, yeah, just inconsistency and stuff. So, now here's where stuff gets a bit wacky. So, what we're going to do here is, you know, match is over. We're going to do some fun with storylines. So, Smooth and Ferrar are out of this feud. All Hell is Breaking Loose is over with this feud. And then we're going to put Acid 2 and Stutman into this feud. Change our alignment so they're by each other. We're going to edit this feud. We're now giving a regular storyline victory in Rich and Smooth as Jacob gets one over, and then Jake Idol gets one over Stuntman. And then we're booking that segment, and then we're moving forward as there we go. Rich and Famous lay out Devil My Care in the cage and take the PSW tag titles. Let's get to 49. And then, okay, so 47, about what I uh, assumed. Um, storyline was, was heated up. Bomber gets a 27, Blitzer gets a 31, Sarbic gets a 41, Lando gets a 35, Chavez gets a 43, Rui gets a 59, and the Hulan Kings get the win when Rudy pins Bomber with the Street Cutter. 39 wrestling rating, 25 crowd rating, segment rating of 47 in the 3 on 3 cage match. Let's see here. Ooh, let me see here. Yeah, morale boost. Um, was there anything really hurt here? Um, no, not really. And. Left Kino King celebrate to a 39. And then we have our main event as Logan Will Spain does the job to Antonio De Vecchio, Italian DDD right in the middle of the ring on the title belt. Vecchio makes defense number two with PSW Championship. Wrestling ring of 57, crowd ring of 43, second ring of 63. Will Spain get a 67, De Vecchio gets a 46. And then De Vecchio stands tall to a 44. And overall, the show itself gets a 58. Good stuff. All right. So Ernest, yeah, who much did better than I thought? Ernest. Yeah, okay, so. Ernest did great. Or actually, yeah. Taylor, you actually did really good. And honestly, um, who did better than I thought they would? You know, of all the matches on the show. Um, really? Yeah. Austin's booth. Since you've done some jobs. You get to be praised for a uh, as a good example. There we go. Entry report. Yeah, we lost some money. 
Oh no, we, we made money. Never mind. Sorry, we made money. And then rapid recap. We're up a couple points everywhere. That's good stuff. And yeah, nobody is scrum. So there we are. Um. So yeah, as a tradition, we'll go over some wrap up as far as like uh, some popularity changes where people are, and we'll see how that all works out. We'll also see any news. Um, there might be some light spoilers of people coming in, but you know it is what it is. If you don't want to see that, you might have already seen that at the start of the video, but like you know, you'll see one way or the other. Okay. Lockdown got thirty three thousand. Yeah. All right. So. First, uh, creative wise, yeah. Um, Zomboy and Ferreira, hot prospects. Martin, Zomboy, Ferreira, Rafe, Norton. Talk to talk is Pin, Braun, Trask, Youngman, Williams. Who's hot is Logan, Youngman, Smooth, Rudy, Buck, Winchester. Nobody who's under who's not, so that's good. Uh, product, uh, stables, storylines. All right, so All Hell's Breaking Loose is extremely hot. Batch's plan is extremely hot. Easy Money versus Pin is extremely hot. Grumpy Old Men is very hot. National Pride is extremely hot. New Diamera is extremely hot. Proving Your Worth is extremely hot. And Riches is extremely hot. That's great. Titles. His W Tag Team Champions are still Asset 2 and Stuntman. They have held the belts for 113 days. National Champion is Tennessee Williams. PSW Champion is still Antonio Del Vecchio. So, if we look at our roster. Let's make this pretty simple. Major stars. So, yeah, um, this is a spoiler, but you know, it is what it is, Ernest Youngman. So, popularity wise, we are in May, so. Yeah. He's basically where he's been. He's at a 47 still. He's shooting with basically our top guy with Lenny Brown, and he's doing well. Uh, Lenny Brown, on the other hand, like, you know, lost a couple points, but he's still very over. And Logos Wolf Spain is getting there. He's dropped some points, but he's getting over everywhere else, which is helpful. So, yeah. If you look at stars, Antonio Del Vecchio is getting a big push, so he's getting there. So that's, that's a positive. There's that other person, but we'll get to them probably on the next show. Well known, Austin Smooth. So, Austin Smooth is up from where he started, but down a little bit from the last month or so. Uh, Cowboy Buck is up, you know, so so that's solid. Uh, Jackpot Jordan is also up, as is Jake Idol. Uh, Rudy Villaquez, I think, is the one who I've actually dropped. Eh, no, he's actually way more over, so that's that's positive. Tennis Williams, I'm sure, is more over. Yeah, well, he's about the same, which is interesting. Uh, Zabi is also up a bit. Like, you know, he's he, he needs a few more wins, but we'll see what he does there. Uh, for Recognizable... Let's see here. Acid 2 is up a couple points. Cerebus. Yeah, Cerebus is about where he has been. Chip Martin is slowly getting rebuilt. Yeah, I mean, he's up. Corey Underwood is already among our most over people. At least of our young people. Death Wish is getting there. Hector Galando. Yeah, he's, he's a guy. Uh, Wolfie's doing all right. Rhinos. I mean, he can. he's still some overness to the bleed. Um, as it's said, Stuntman's there. Thyroid also getting a lot more over real quickly. And Wicked Lester is just sort of there, but I have some ideas for him and the rest of the Legion Blood. Then we go to our unknowns. So, um, Blitzer and Bomber. Okay, so they're slowly getting more over. Dre Pepper comes in, not that over. Joy Poison is still, yeah, still getting over, um, which is a plan. Maria Del Rey is still getting over, just being on TV, aside Del Vecchio. May Poison is getting slowly more over. Rafe comes in. Teddy's, like, I mean, I mean look, look at your attributes. Or, yeah, um, I mean, you're professional, so you help as far as overness. And then, uh, yeah, Davers, they're all jobbers, so it is what it is. But yeah, there we are. So, um, again... Next up is Steel City's match, of course. Then after that will be the Big Ass for All, or Homecoming. So, um, obviously we're still Homecoming, but maybe we'll move this to maybe another, someplace that's not the PSW Arena. Then Big Ass for All, Philly Heat Wave, Dave Birthday Bash, Battleground, 
button gore. End game. And then we're going all over again. So, um, Sol Cho. Oh, yeah. Uh, forgot. Size. Yeah, we're growing slowly. You know, we are where we are. But that's all for now. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and give it a like. Comment below what you're liking and not liking. Subscribe to the channel for plenty other TW content, including this series, my TW 2020 WCW series, which will be over your TW 9 soon enough, and maybe some other stuff. That's about it. So talk to you later, and adios. Have a good one.